Foldable Flight's incredible paper airplanes is now available internationally through Amazon. So if you're interested in buying my book, be sure to check out your country's Amazon website. Nighthawk is an incredible paper airplane, which as you saw flies over 150 feet. I mean, this thing is absolutely ridiculous. And better yet, it's really not even that hard to fold. I would say this is intermediate at worst. Now you may notice in the folding sequence that it's actually rather similar to another popular plane on my channel called Sky Piercer. The layer orientation and the proportions especially are similar, even though these are different planes. Now for that reason, I designed a template that is heavily inspired by Sky Piercer's template because I think of these planes as like brothers or cousins. They're, they're definitely related in some way. And I think this template turned out super well. So if you're interested in folding a plane that looks like this, you can support me on patreon.com slash foldable flight and just download and print off this design as well as like over 50 others at this point. Now, one last reminder, the Foldable Flight Paper Airplane Designers Contest is currently live. So if you're interested in submitting your designs to this channel and hopefully getting them featured, as well as getting templates designed for your plane, then head over to foldableflight.com contest and read the rules there. And with that, let's get folding. All you will need in order to fold this plane is an eight and a half by 11 or A4 sheet of paper. And we're going to begin by folding it in half from the right edge to the left edge. Once you do that, go ahead and open it up so that this is a mountain crease in the middle. And now fold your top edge into the center and make a triangle on either side, as you do with so many paper airplanes. And now I'm just folding that top point down to right here. And the next step is to fold this whole top section down right along this line. You can kind of push on it as you do that to make your crease right where you're wanting to place it. And now I'm going to fold the top edge to the center again. I'll do the same thing on this side. And your plane should look like this. And we're now just going to open up the two creases we just made. And this is the trickiest step of the whole process and it's really not that bad. Basically, we're taking this crease here and we want it to be on the center crease. So I'm just kind of pulling this whole section and swinging that crease toward the center. And while holding that crease on the center, I can then flatten this side out. Just like that. And now I just pull this side in just like that and flatten it out. And your plane should look like this. Now I'm going to stand this central triangle and I'm just pulling it open and squash folding it by pressing down on the spine. And the layers are pretty thick so you might have to reach all the way in there to get that to work. But when you press down, you'll see it kind of fans out like this and land the center crease here on your center crease down there.
and your paper should look like that. Now we're just going to fold this edge here into the center. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. And now you'll notice under each of these sides, we have kind of this point right here where your triangle is meeting this bottom edge. And basically I want to find that point. I'm just gonna leave this side open for now. And I'm folding this back and I'm going to fold right to this corner over here from that point right there. So you see as I fold this back, my top edge isn't going all the way to the edge of the plane. I'm just folding from this point here to that corner down here. Once I do one side, I'll close up my other side again and just fold this side in the same exact way. Okay, and now you just want to open that up and fold in along the creases you just made. So fold in right there, open this side up, reverse this crease like so. And now I can tuck these in under these flaps here as I close that back up and that's going to lock the layers together. And your plane should now look like this. Now we just need to fold it in half away from ourselves like this. So all these layers, oops, make sure that remains locked together. Fold it in half so all these layers are on the outside of the plane. And now I'm going to fold this edge here to the bottom edge and that's it. We'll do that on either side. The layers are really thick near the front, so you may find you have to kind of roll them as you're trying to land this up, or line this up, rather. And there you go. This is a finished plane. You might find that you need just a little bit of up elevator. It's pretty well balanced, but many planes do fly better when you bend the back edges up just slightly. So I would say test it without any up elevator and if you find that you need a little, that's how you add it to keep it from diving down. Thank you so much for watching and good luck flying your plane.